and welcome to Ask a Pastor. My name is Kevin Yant, and I am with Pastor Mike Reed from Grace Fellowship Church in Davenport, Iowa. And Pastor, today's question is about the Proverbs. And often we see the Proverbs repeating itself. So my example is Proverbs 21.9 and Proverbs 21.19. We see some very similar language and repetition. Can you, can you tell us why that happens in the Bible? So... In, in, in Scripture, you will often see things repeated. You'll see the Psalms. You'll see the Old Testament quoted in the New Testament. Uh, sometimes slightly different, but you'll see it quoted. Or you'll see you'll see in the in in the Psalms. You'll see something directly that came from the Pentateuch that's written in there. So you'll see this repetition from time to time in the Scriptures, and uh, it, it's it's reiterating or helping us understand something more deeply, but specifically in the Proverbs, when you're talking about when it almost repeats itself exactly, there's times where in Proverbs you will see almost the same thing written. And the ones you said were 21.9 and 21.19, and better to dwell in a corner of a housetop than in a house share with a contentious woman. And then 21.19 says, better to dwell in the wilderness than with a contentious and angry woman. So, Twice in the same proverb, Proverb 21, Solomon repeats this. Uh, so if he's repeating it, it's something we ought to pay attention to. And, and clearly the, all, of God's, all of this is God-breathed. All of it is useful for uh, training in righteousness, instruction, reproof, correction. Mm -hmm. But when we see something repeated, um, we need to take special notice. And if, so if I'm a woman reading the Proverbs, then I know it's... I ought not be an angry, contentious woman uh, with my husband because it would be better for him to be by himself than to be with someone like that. Mm -hmm. uh, now, Solomon wrote this to his son, and, and so, uh, not that they're not useful for everyone, but so, if I'm a man, young man, courting or dating a woman that is angry and contentious, argumentative and hard to get along with, moody, uh, this tells me I ought not marry her. Mm -hmm. uh, because it'd be better for me to be in the wilderness than that. It'd be better for me to, to sit on the corner of a rooftop by myself, to be isolated, than to live with an angry woman. So, and that theme, that theme of quiet and gentle spirit of a woman, and the, and the type of a woman that God has a godly woman to be, is throughout Scripture, but you know, it's specifically in here. So, a repetition in, in the Proverbs Especially we have to take notice. Again, I don't want to elevate it over the scripture, but I want to say that it's repeated for a reason. In, in the Hebrew language, when they would write, they didn't have exclamation points. So they would repeat things, and, and repeating was a way of giving it emphasis, mm -hmm. as, as Todd Freer would say, emphasis. Mm -hmm. But it gives it emphasis when it's repeated, like when it's holy, holy, holy. So that repetition is to give it emphasis. Mm -hmm. So when you see a repeated proverb, you ought to really take notice. Great. Well, if you have a question for Pastor Mike, you can reach us on our website, gracefellowshipqc.com. Click on the Ask a Pastor link, and we would certainly love to take your question. Oh, yeah.